Hello, I'm Yummy Yummy PBJ, and I'm making this tutorial to show you how to make a 2x3x3 three by, two by three by three Rubik's Cube in proportion, a domino, in proportion to the size of a Rubik's 3x3. Three three. Starting off, you will need one 3x3. Three three. I'm using a dollar store cube for the tutorial. This dollar store cube turns very well. It doesn't break. I don't know, it doesn't break. So, you'll need one cube. If you want to make it, you can use two. If, I'm using two because it's dollar store cubes. Or you can use Legos. And you also need a bench grinder or a saw. I prefer having a bench grinder or a Dremel because that would really help. Without one of them, it'll be really hard, but I still think it's possible. The way I'm explaining to do it will have to do with a bench grinder and would also work with a drummer. And then the last thing you will need is filling. You'll need something to fill. Or if you're if you have two cubes, you won't need filling. Okay, before you do anything, I think it is important that you watch this entire tutorial. Okay, there are two things that I forgot to mention, which I'm assuming you have a ruler and a pen. So starting off, okay, you want to measure your piece. Um, you can try inches first, but it's probably not going to be an inch. So my pieces are about two and two centimeters and four millimeters. So I'll do. So what you want to do is measure at half that. Yours won't be that because I'm using a bigger 3x3 three three because, yeah, it's bigger. So, I'm going to measure half that, which is 1.2. So, then what you do is measure it on the centerpiece. And make a mark where it is. Then draw a whole line that is straight around the entire puzzle on that one side. Um, an approximation is fine. You can just assume half. And then you want to do the same exact thing to the other side. So I have that done. And now it is time to start grinding at the cube. Okay, here we are in my work shed, and I'm very sorry about the poor quality of this camera. I'm sorry it's a webcam, but I guess it'll just have to do. Okay, so what you want to do is saw off or grind off everything above this line. And above this line too. Kind of hard to see. Um, so. So, now that my cube totally obliterated, I am going to use a different one that I'm not using. I'm going to show you with a different cube I'm not using. Uh, something fell. So, what you want to do then is make your entire middle layer circular so that these can turn independently without the middle, la middle layer ever crossing over. So, I have it perfect. Then, edge piece to the to its center. That way, the mechanism will never, ever, ever get out of alignment, ever. And that should work. Okay, the next thing you can do is you can fill it. I like to use this all-purpose putty. It's like mill put, but it dries to plastic almost. It doesn't work for casting. I've tried. Um, neither does plaster. <laughs> I've tried that too. 
So, um, you also can fill this with mineral putty if you want, or epoxy sculpt, or plumber's putty, or mighty putty, or something around that. And that would also work. But I won't be filling it. I will actually be cutting these down to size, because it's a different size, so that they'll fit over it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big corner, and I'm going to take a knife, and just cut off the end. See that? I just cut that off. Since this is such sheet plastic. You can just what I'm doing is cutting it to size with a knife. Okay. And now this will fit right over the corner. Like that. And what you want to do is extend it down. Okay. Okay, so once you can fit that over perfectly, um, all you have to do is do it with every single um, corner and then every single edge. An edge piece is kind of different. Um, take an edge. Some of this you can just figure out on yourself. And I'm going to cut this out. Cut this out. What also works really well, what I did with my other one, is I extended it with Legos, filled it, and then extended it with Legos. That works really well. So here's my second one, and you can just glue that on. <coughs> now if you use a Rubik's... <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold use a Rubik's Cube, I suggest you use Rubik's Brand, that works the best. I really suggest using Legos, and you can do touch-ups with Milliput, and some of it is just figuring out, figuring out, figuring it out on yourself. I could make a really long tutorial of me building the entire thing, and I don't really think that's necessary. Okay, another thing you can do, which I will explain and actually show you, is extend it with Legos. The only thing that Legos works for is a Rubik's brand, a Rubik's size 3x3. This is actually a cube for you. So what you do, I don't have super glue, or, yeah, epoxy. I have epoxy, but I don't feel like mixing it, is glue this on right here. And you can glue one all, you have to glue them all the way around. That's good, Dad. Oh, that one's good. Uh, yeah, just assuming that I already filled all this. Well, you can glue this piece all the way around. And, yeah, a Lego like this that's flat, square, flat, on one side. Now there will be some gaps between Legos on corners, if you know what I mean. So what you can do is use like a mill put. I like plumber's putty, it's a lot easier to use, a lot cheaper too, works the same way. It's like a tube that you mix up, it's just like, yeah, you mix these two things up and it works really well. Once have once you have glued on every Lego, you will get and fill every piece too. You will get your two by three by three. Now this cube is totally filled between these pieces. See the middle put? It was sanded all the way. So it's in proportion to the three by three. It looks pretty nice. The only thing bad about it is that it does shape shift. Uh, a bit funky, but 
Thank you for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you watched the entire tutorial and didn't skip through parts because I did screw up some places. So thank you for watching, and hopefully you are able to build your two by three by three.